explain the history of the Fashion Café. Um, the Fashion Café started as an idea um, of Tommaso Butti, who has, long, has been a longtime member of both the restaurant and the fashion community. Um, he's married to Daniela Pistova, um, a model, a highly acclaimed model. Um, and he, he really thought that there was, you know, that marrying the idea of, of food and fashion would probably be a, an excellent idea and something that would offer, you know, offer the public that access into such a glamorous world that previously I don't think anyone's really felt. Like, no, the normal people can't go to the fashion shows and things like that. Um, so he approached um, several of his friends, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, Elle McPherson, and then Christy Turlington actually joined a little bit later. Um, and sort of proposed this idea, and I think they had felt, you know, in their careers um, that there was a demand for that. And um, based on the d demand by European tourists and, and d the general public, um, they decided to open a restaurant in Europe, and London sort of being the up-and-coming, I think, fashion capital of the world, they thought this would be a very good location. And also, I think Naomi had a lot to do with it, it being her hometown. Which piece of memorabilia holds the greatest significance to the Fashion Café in London and why? Um, I think probably one of the pieces of memorabilia that personifies the Fashion Café would be Madonna's bustiers from her Blonde Ambition Tour. In terms of the fashion world, in terms of the, um, the entertainment world, she's always been sort of a step ahead of everyone else. We'd like to think that we're sort of a step ahead of everyone else too and when customers come here, they're sort of seeing what's on the forefront as well as, as a nice history of of what's gone on. List in order of importance to the Fashion Café. The staff, the atmosphere, the food, the toilet. Um, atmosphere is created by the customers that we encourage to come in. It's, the, it's also created by the staff and by the general environment. Uh, the music, the food, the lighting and what's around them. And people don't go to a restaurant just for the food. They don't go to a restaurant just for the atmosphere. They don't go to a restaurant just for the people that go in there. They're also going for, yeah, you know, it, it's a combination of all three items. What is the most expensive beverage on the menu? An interesting question. We have Dom Perignon, uh, which surprisingly sells quite well at £98 a bottle. But expense is a perception of value for money. Uh, if you are drinking an expensive champagne in the right environment, it feels right. Um, you could be drinking one of our glasses of house wine, which is a uh, very good value for money compared to other restaurants, and still feel good about yourself. It's how you feel as you walk into a place and how you feel your money is being spent. When a new waiter or waitress starts, what advice do you give them? Uh, we have a, a slogan, it's stay focused and have fun. It's a pun on the camera lens. To me, the most important thing is to let their own character shine through, let their own personality come out, but retaining a professional service. We like to provide a relaxed atmosphere where people can talk to their waiter, waitress. They will have their favorite dishes on the menu, which they'll recommend. Um, it's a matter of taste, but the key thing is for them to actually enjoy themselves while they're serving people. How much would you expect a person to spend on a good night out in the Fashion Café London? Quite simply, we trust that customers have a good time, whether they're spending £5 or £50. It, money, you can't buy a good time with the money you spend. It's entirely up to the customer how they spend their money and entirely up to us how we treat them. Our appetizers start from £3 to £5. Our main courses are from £7 to £13. Uh, our desserts are around about four pounds. The fact is that models, just like anybody else, eat healthy. Which item on the menu best personifies the fashion cafe and why? It's a difficult question to answer. There's, it's hard to say that there's one single item that will typically say this is fashion cafe. One of the favorite items uh, on our menu would be Naomi's fish and chips but so it's Claudia's uh, apple pancakes and Elle's shrimp on the barbie. They're items that personify the people that are involved with Fashion Cafe. Um, they believe in having a strong hand in it and whenever they're in town they, they come in and they taste their own food. And it's interesting when you hear them sort of discuss why they chose these recipes it's always like very much of a personal like when I was younger my mother made apple pancakes and 
you know, when I was growing up, I always had fish and chips, that kind of thing. So I think they've really put like part of themselves into a in the menu.